Hey everyone, so yesterday I did my first cacao breathwork and sound healing ceremony. I've always been curious about these things ever since I got more and more into like psychedelics and spirituality, but the opportunity had never presented itself until like two weeks ago when I joined uh, this yoga class for the first time at my new gym and the yoga instructor mentioned that she was holding a breathwork ceremony at my gym. So I told her that I was interested and then she sent out an email to those who were interested with some background info on cacao and breathwork and also some advice of like what to bring and what to do the day before. So she told us like if you can don't drink alcohol um, the night before because it will kind of close you off to the energy but I had a housewarming to go to the night before so I did drink alcohol. It would probably be cool to try this again uh, without drinking the night before and then she told us that we could bring like a blanket because you know we might get hot or cold and eye mask if we have one and crystals so um, I actually went out and bought I was like at a street fair that day earlier that day and I saw this and I kind of I've always loved crystals ever since I was a child for some reason I'm not super sure if I believe yet all the energy stuff around them but I do think I just think they're really pretty and then she also told us to bring a journal so we can like write down our thoughts after oh and she also told us to bring water she gave us uh, like this paper I'll just go over some things to give you some background on like cacao and breath work which I'm still very new about so I'm just gonna like read out what it says here the medicine of cacao has been used for almost 5,000 years by a number of South American groups on a metaphysical level serving as a powerful energetic healing tool that enhances the connection to your heart cacao contains more antioxidants than any other food on the planet and is known as food of gods so the medicine of cacao expands the vascular system around the heart by as much as 40% and energetically it opens the heart chakra and assists in giving a deep emotional release when consuming it with intention as part of a healing ritual. Now breath work. Breath work is a tool to work with yourself and your energy. It allows us to access deeper levels of awareness to find our truest self. Using it with cacao, it will assist in amplifying and manifesting the intentions that we set. Uh, similar to cacao, it is used as a natural healing technique that works to cleanse the energetic body, open the heart chakra, and connect you to your spirit and intuition. It brings up and releases deep-rooted emotions such as fear, anger, and sadness that cause imbalance in the body so we can better connect to love and happiness. Uh, it raises our vibrational energy, it shifts stuck energy, and moves it up the chakra system. The more you can relax into the breath and let go of control with the mind, the more the body will open and spirit will come through. So I went to the gym, to the yoga room at like 4 p.m. and there were mats laid out and like towels for us and in the middle, like front middle, she had an altar with crystals and I, I didn't see it super closely, but there's like drums or instruments there and bowls and books and stuff. Um, and there were six other people there who were doing the ceremony with me. Then she made us lie down and then close our eyes and then she went over some of the chakras in the body. Uh, I don't really remember them all right now or I can't really recite them, so I'm sure you can look them up yourself. Then we sat up again and then she had like this huge flask of the cacao drink and she gave us these like cute cups and then poured out the cacao for each of us and she said something about not you might not like the taste but the taste was not that bad to me I could drink it pretty easily and it was at a good temperature it wasn't scalding hot it was not lukewarm though and then she had this deck of cards um, and she explained she got them I think in Costa Rica I'm not really sure but she said how they have like a special energy and and she like draws one and when she draws one usually whatever card she draws does tend to have some relation to her intention i was very curious about the card that i would get so then she passed the deck of cards to us and then we like shuffled and then drew a card and the card that I drew said the word Malak- I can't- I don't know if I'm pronouncing this, sorry. Malachite. 
um, and then it had like a picture of a crystal I guess that was the name of the crystal and also said the word healing on it so then she made us go around the room and say out loud like our name and what card we got and what our intentions are for this ceremony namely what we want to let in and what we want to let go and we could be like as specific or vague I guess as we wanted to so then you would explain what card you have and then she would like consult a book of the like meaning behind the card I guess namely what we want to let in and what we want to let go and we could be like as specific or vague I guess as we wanted to so some of the other words on the cards that people got and I don't remember the names of the crystals and people were struggling to pronounce them too but the other words on the cards people got were like the shadow the healer success relaxation spiritual awakening and i forgot what the other one was so yeah i had my intentions for this breath work this breath work was clutch because an issue in my life did come up and i did want some like clarity or guidance or direction on it yeah i, I just don't feel comfortable sharing it right now um but let's just say that i was already crying before the class started <laughs> oh and also she like really encouraged us that if we need to cry during it to cry and I definitely cried but anyway <laughs> spoiler alert and then she had a bunch of essential oils I think like seven of them for each of the chakras that she went over and then she would go out give us like a drop on our hands and then we would put it like on our belly or our chest or our third eye or the back of our neck or the top of our head or on the bottom of our feet uh, <laughs> and the essential oil smelled really good and they kind of had a burning like a pleasant burning sensation, kind of like Ben gave. He had that muscle um, relaxation cream. And she also had some scents going on, so I think it was Sage and Palo Santo. And then we could also have more cacao if we wanted to, and so I went and, and drank more. Um, but I really should have gone to the bathroom before we started the ceremony because throughout the ceremony, the urge to go to the bathroom. And P just like kept growing and growing and it was kind of uncomfortable and I was afraid like, oh my god, if I let go, what if I just like pee? But anyway, I should have went to the bathroom before we started, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, and she also passed out these crystals. So one was a normal quartz and another was a rose quartz and she had us hold each one in our hands. And then I got this eye mask and then lied down. <laughs> so she taught us how to breathe too and the way we'd breathe would be two inhales in and one exhale out through our mouth so it would be like one inhale up to your kind of chest area and then the next inhale up to your throat and then exhale so it would be like and she also told us to have a soft jaw so i tried doing that the whole time so then we lied down we started breathing and then she also started playing some music i think i found her spotify account and i think i i found one of her playlists so i'll just put a little bit it kind of sounded like this something like that um <laughs> so it definitely sounded more like the kind of indigenous spiritually music but I remember at some point she also played like a rock song and had lyrics like some of the songs had lyrics some of them didn't um I don't really remember specifically what they said but I do remember thinking oh interesting a rock song <laughs> and I remember thinking at one point like wow the sound system in this room is really good <laughs> the actual breath work part lasted about 30 minutes and I don't really remember. It's interesting. It's kind of like a psychedelic trip where you don't fully remember everything. Like, you remember parts of it, but maybe not exactly the order. My recounting here is just going to be all over the place, I feel like. Um, but I do remember in the beginning, I started the breath work, and it immediately felt like I was just shot out <laughs> into space. Oh, and in the beginning, there was a sound of a siren, because we're in New York City, and that siren kind of just merged into the sound of music she was playing, and it was just kind of like, also aided in the sensation of just shooting out into space, like from Earth. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's happening already. But then I just kind of slowed down my breathing, 
and then came down a bit. Uh, she also said, like, you know, things might feel uncomfortable or too intense, and if that happens, just stop breathing. I don't know if it's, like, because we went over the chakras and stuff, so it was, like, subconsciously in my head, but I would feel, like, tingly, tingliness, vibrations, like a weight um, in different parts of my body. So in the beginning, it, like, started in my stomach area, and then it moved up, and it, it was in my chest, it was in the back of my neck, and, like, my temples, and here, and randomly throughout the breath work some part would be super tingly <laughs> um so that was an interesting sensation that i've never had before <laughs> and then i started crying and i don't know if this is due to the breath work because i had already been crying without it earlier that day so but it's still like i still cried and then I was like sobbing and I tried not to sob too hard like too loud so the people around me wouldn't be like the fuck like that's so distracting but it was kind of hard to breathe when you're like sobbing and you're like your your lips just shaking and then you're like I can't even recreate it right now but it made it hard to breathe so sometimes I would just you know chill out with the breathing and, and just cry <laughs> so we did it yesterday and today is a summer solstice and she said that it's uh was it auspicious or something day to do it because with the coming of the summer solstice it's like a special time and it, it signifies like cycles and change and a new season kind of thing at some point i think she was playing some sort of drum thing and some I don't know these instruments. She came over to each of us and rang these kind of like bells. But they weren't really bells, they were like chimes. Chimes is a good word. Okay, and the part that really freaked me out, so I was lying down like this, and you know, I have my crystals in my hand, and I couldn't move my arms, my fingers, <laughs> or my hands. They were literally paralyzed, and it freaked me out because it reminded me of when I've had sleep paralysis and I can't move. So I shifted my arms so they were more spread out and I kept trying to wiggle my fingers and they wiggled a bit but like some of them were just like rock solid like holding on to the crystals and I was like is this the crystals like doing their thing? <laughs> but I just felt like pinned down and I could not move my arms and I think yeah it kind of freaked me out so um, I don't think I went in as deep because of that because I didn't want to feel even more paralyzed but yeah that was <laughs> then at some point I started thinking about my intentions and they kind of came to the forefront of my mind and you know I was thinking I don't want to let go and I was just crying and I didn't actually see any visions but I felt like a light presence and the light presence showed me kind of the different paths that my life could take and the main thing I got from it which is very similar to the message I got from my first rooms trips were that everything will be okay you take this path and it'll be okay you take that path and it'll be okay you will be okay just have like conviction and self-love and, and self-confidence in yourself to make the right decisions and if you are true to yourself and true to your heart and you make your decisions based on that then you will be okay like everything will be okay so that was reassuring <laughs> at some point the instructor made us repeat phrases and probably these phrases like also got into my subconscious to give me that message but she made us say like I deserve better and I am worth it or things happen the way they do for a reason but more eloquently than that also at one point she made us cover our mouths and yell but my hands were like fucking paralyzed so I could just do like this and I gave a half-hearted yell but when I yelled I just felt like I was moaning 
I didn't really yell that hard <laughs> as I could have probably. Yeah, wherever my chakras were, they were hella just pulsating. Also, uh, definitely the cacao, I could tell my heart was racing more too. And I cried and then slowly my tears calmed down and you know, I had the sense that everything will be okay. And then the music kind of slowed and then stopped and then we slowly started to let go of the breath and as we did that I felt like I was my I felt like my body was floating and I had the sensation that I was actually in my bed here in my apartment not at my gym and I felt like I was about to wake up uh, into some sort of morning and then slowly I started to return back to the gym and I was felt super relaxed, super calm, and then she had us like put our arms over her head and then stretch, and now I could start moving my fingers and toes again, but my body was super rigid still, like kind of achy, um, and then she like had us hug our knees to our chest and like rock back and forth, and then sat in the fetal position for a bit, and then we, we sat up, and then I took my eye mask off and the lighting, I felt like it was like pulsating too. Kind of like a strobe effect, but a very subtle one. And then we started sharing some of our experiences. Other people had the paralyzed arm effect like I did. Some people felt like their whole body was tied down and they were scared to, like they could feel themselves letting leaving their body but they were too scared to other people said oh they were gone they totally left their body someone said that at some point they realized their arms were over their head and they had no recollection of doing that and they just like put their arms back down uh, another person said that they felt a presence right next to them and they thought it was the instructor at first but then they realized that it wasn't the instructor uh, and then someone else said that they cried but they weren't sad they they were just crying and the tears just kept coming and the instructor said that you know we carry trauma throughout lifetimes so yeah i felt very calm and peaceful after and what i got from it was it was cathartic i feel like i cried out all i could <laughs> and uh i felt like when the time came i had the strength to make the right decision and the tingles and pulsations and vibrations i guess completely went away and then I was left with a slight headache and the instructor told me to drink water a lot of water and then I walked out of the gym and it kind of felt like the afterglow of a trip where it's like oh I'm back here <laughs> on earth and I was just like walking around and I got some grapes I went to the park and I journaled so yeah that was my first cacao breath work and sound healing ceremony I would definitely do it again and I think the instructor is going to try to hold it like once or twice a month and I paid $35 to do it here and um, I would be so down to try this again and maybe make it a more regular thing in my life. But I was surprised at how hard it affected me physically I guess and emotionally. I think if I did this like a few years ago when my mind was kind of closed off to these things that I wouldn't get as much out of it but I'm super open to this kinds of stuff right now and the whole you know some people think the spirituality crystals and chakras mumbo jumbo stuff is all like whatever but uh, <laughs> I have an open mind for this these things and I think that open mind helped me connect more and go in deeper but yeah the, it just freaked me out that I, my arms were paralyzed and probably I was in some sort of dream state all right well we'll see maybe in a few months or a year if I continue doing this I'll make an update but if you get the chance to do this I would probably recommend it all right then thanks for listening to my experience and I'll see y'all later and I'll probably my next videos will probably have more to do with traditional psychedelic stuff. Alright, bye!